Monday afternoon in the Bronx. No rest for the weary. After a late one in Queens, the Bombers are back at it this afternoon. As the Yes Network presents New York Yankees baseball, it's the Yankees against the Twins in their final meeting of the season. Hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside David Cohn. So happy to be with you this Monday afternoon for Yankees baseball on Yes. It is no secret after another loss last night, the Yankees have been struggling mightily over the last couple of weeks, searching for answers and a change today from Aaron Boone, announcing that Glaber Torres moving over to second base, not just for today, but perhaps for a longer period of time. Right there. And Polanco lifts one high and deep, and there goes number 30. Jorge Polanco with his 30th of the year and the Twins strike first two to nothing. Yeah congratulations to Jorge that's a franchise record right there for switch hitters. He just missed the one before and this one. You know he almost fooled me he put his head down looked like maybe he thought he missed it but that ball was up into that section tier the second tier. Sano lifts one to left field and deep Gallo is back he's at the wall and that's gone. Miguel Sano hitting his 27th, and it's a 4 nothing jump start for the Twins. Well, I said it before, this is a great ballpark to hit in, especially down the lines from straightaway left, straightaway right. That ball will fly, and maybe this is the game the Twins needed. New York with the night game last night, flight got delayed, Twins got in after 1 o'clock in the morning, and just go out there, play loose, and, and beat a team that desperately needs to win this game. And nothing better than seeing a pitcher point to a pop up that <laughs> ends up over the fence. Now Buxton lifts one to left and deep. Gallo's going back, and that ball's gone. Buxton connecting on the first pitch of the third inning, his 14th of the year, and it's five to nothing twins. And he just missed the ball, his first at bat, hit it off the end, flew out to deep left, and this one. The only question was, was there too much topspin on it? He hit it hard. And then you saw him after he hit it. It sure felt good coming off the bat, and then he went, oh. LeMay, who drives that to right field. Kepler back at the wall, leaping. Did he grab it? He did. What a catch from Kepler. Wade will trot home on the sacrifice fly. Yankees on the board, but an outstanding play by Max Kepler for out number two. Indeed, full speed. Throws his body up against the wall. Not sure if that's going to make it out. Probably more off the top of the wall, but Kepler made a nice. Well, he hit it to the moon. 5 2 game. Joey Gallo with his 33rd home run of the season. And the Yankees creep a little closer. If the Yankees are going to turn this thing around. And if they have another streak in them, that guy's going to be right in the middle of it. As Joan Cone used to say, the first sabermetrician I ever met, my mom used to keep score, and I talked about it often. He's due. One. Judge drives that in the air to deep right. That ball is gone! Aaron Judge drops the gavel! A three-run game-tying homer. It's 5-5. Sanchez rips that to left field, a base hit. Torres rounding third. That will do it. A much-needed walk-off win in the Bronx as Sanchez ends it. And the Yankees win it in dramatic fashion. Us.